There's still a few seats up front here. You're welcome to find a seat, especially those that don't like to stand so long. Uh, it's, it's been a blessing to be here this morning. What a beautiful day God has given us. One of the things that was important to this class is we talked about the baptism. We talked about uh, uh, how we can do a split baptism well. One of the things that was important was that we do it together. And so it's such a privilege to, to have this baptism here together. We're going to have a we're going to do the pouring first. We have four that uh, are going to be poured, and then we have the rest that will be immersed. And so we're going to start with that. Just ask that you, uh, I'm sure you will stay quiet, but let's be in prayer as uh, each of these makes this final commitment through baptism. So I'm going to ask uh, the four that are going to be poured to step over here, and Michael will join me with the water. <clears throat> You can kneel. Jason, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless you abundantly. Amen. Rochelle, before God and these witnesses, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, the name of the Son, Amen. and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. May God bless you. Lily, before God and these witnesses, I baptize you in the name of the Father, mm -hmm. the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. May God bless you abundantly. Krista, before God and these witnesses, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, may God's richest blessings be upon you. Jason, I give you my, my right hand rise. May God bless you richly and abundantly as you serve him. Rochelle, please rise. May God bless you richly and abundantly. Lily, please rise. May God bless you richly and abundantly. Krista, these are us. God bless you. And you can step off to the side here. For the next part, we'll start with uh, the men, the guys here, and ask the fathers to step up and assist me as your child steps up. So Connor, just get in towards the front. Neil, sit as we had mentioned. Should I sit down? Yes, sit down. All the way down. Cotter, before God and these witnesses, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. sit all the way down. Jed, before God and these witnesses, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay. So just sit all the way down like we said. Mm. Just sit all the way down like we said. Lynn, before God and these witnesses, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Alyssa, before God and these witnesses, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Barb, 
Before God and these witnesses, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Sarah, before God and these witnesses, as I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Esther, before God and these witnesses, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And so for the class, for all of you, just as Christ was, was raised up from the dead, so I trust that you also can rise up and live a life that glorifies the Father, brings honor to Him, and that you'll go from here uh, with new authority and new power to live for Jesus. Uh, I know this was, uh, yes, in a sense, only getting wet, but I also believe that God's Spirit is here present and that God's Spirit will go before us from here and give you the power and the authority to live for Him. So with that, Michael, would you close the service? In this new family, there's a code of conduct. Like every family and every team that you're ever going to be a part of, there's a code of conduct. And men, women, we're learning, embracing a journey of learning that code of conduct, right? And the rest of us as well. One of those is honor. Always honor, no matter how differently, no matter how differently you think, no matter differences of opinions, no matter differences of perspectives, always honor. That is how the household of God operates. Always love. And we love based not on others deserving of that love, but we love based on God's love for us. Always obedience and then gaining understanding. All right, so seek to embrace that code of conduct. Amen.